about my experience with Jacques? I don't even know who Jacques is. What does that mean? My experience with Jacques. Were you in the French Navy at some time? No, that I, I don't I know wish, about. I wish I was. Oh my God, we're on. Fa, 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 fa. Welcome back to Riggle's Picks Podcast. I'm Rob Riggle. I'm Darren Leader. Guys, today it is St. Patrick's Day. Holy smokes. Special day. Do you know what St. Patrick's St. Patrick is? Do I know? I'm wearing green. So am I. But I also One got little, into tattoos. I guess you're permanently wearing green, yeah. Do you know what St. Patrick is famous for? Yeah, he led the snakes out of Ireland. God, he did know. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And he drank. Yeah, I mean he had a he had a he had a toddy at the end of a hard day of driving snakes. Who wouldn't? Snake driving. Snake driving man, snake driving man. They call him St. Patty. That's pretty awesome. Thanks. I wrote it. Copyright trademark. Rubber, rubber. Yeah. Guys, I am wearing my St. Patrick's Day shirt, which has the clover. The chamois. It's got the chamois. Uh-huh. Kansas City. Everything you do is is, is Kansas City centric. Well, it's because it's the best town on earth. Okay. And it's full of the best people. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if you know this or not, but we uh, just Super won two Bowl winners, Super, Super Bowls Bowl in a row. Winners, yeah. I know the Chiefs, yes. I get it. Why do you say it like that? I love it. I'm a fan of Kansas City Chiefs, but I will tell you this. I just feel like you really, really try to drive that point home when you talk to people. Like when you meet people, I've seen you meet somebody brand new, go, hey, I'm Rob Riggle, Kansas City, Kansas City Chiefs fan. We just won two Super Bowls in a row. I've seen it. Yeah. And it's a little off-putting. I don't think it. I don't think it's off putting at all. I think you're. I mean, and being a gentleman by introducing myself and letting them know a little about me. This is not about you, though. It's about the Chiefs. You let them know about the Chiefs. I, I mean, I let them know specifically that we won two Super Bowls. I don't try to explain the whole team and how football works. <laughs> don't be an idiot. Anyway, um, we have a lot to talk about today because St. Patrick's Day is a special day. It's not just a classic, classic vintage Irish holiday. Tell me. It's celebrated throughout the world, mm-hmm. and it's celebrated in America big time. Right. Do you know where the two biggest celebrations Boston? are? Boston? You would think. I'm going to guess Boston. You would think, but no. Seriously? Don't say Kansas City. No. Okay. Although we have a monster celebration. Yeah, of and course a, you do. A killer parade. Did you win Parade of the Year two years in a row? Not not two, but three. Oh. Biggest St. Patty's Day celebrations in the United States? Yeah, some of the biggest. And I think, well, I'm sure there's a Google search we can do. Claire, maybe you could search it. But Chicago, no-brainer. Okay. Savannah. Georgia? Yes. Stop it. I'm not kidding. They have a massive, all-city, all-hands-on-deck St. Patty's Day blowout in Savannah. Who would have thought? I I don't know. I didn't see it coming. But a lot of Irish down there. A lot of Irish in Savannah. Did not know that. Yeah. Totally would have thought Boston. Boston, for sure. Boston. I always think it's Boston, Chicago. Yeah, how about that? What? That, where are you getting your information? I don't... Oh, Savannah's at the second to last. No, all that says is celebrations and parades. They're not ranked. Uh, See? Play me. How about, don't play how, me. How about where are the biggest... Can you, can you go down to that first question, Claire? Where are the biggest St. Pat right there? Oh, Son of a biscuit. Oh, what's that? Number four is Kansas City? Oh, God. You knew oh, that was coming. Oh, But well. Boston, Boston's number one. You're right. Boston. I guess Boston. It has to be Boston. It has to be Boston, right? Did you see the town? It's a little bit Irish. Yeah. It's yeah. a lot Irish. Did you see The Departed? I did. You know that song? Which one? It's, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, uh, oh, what's the uh, Dropkick Murphys? Yeah. 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 That's a badass song. It is a badass song. Yeah. Um, which did you like better, The Town or The Departed? God, that's tough. Departed. Departed, I mean, that's Oscar level. Of course it's Oscar level. And The level. Town was great. Don't but get me wrong. The Town was, my, my favorite part of that, my favorite line, or that exchange, Ben Affleck goes, yeah, yeah. I need your help. He was a 3 a.m. friend. He's like, we're going to go hurt somebody. You can never ask me about it again. He goes, whose car are we taking? Yeah. Game over. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's that's, uh, that's, that's some, everybody hopes they got somebody like that in their life. That's some balls right there. <laughs> I love that. That's all, well. What are we gonna do for St. Patrick's Day? <sighs> well, I'm not gonna do the traditional get loaded and punch you in the face. I've done that so many years. I know that I'm. I feel bad. I always feel bad the next day. I always, you know, have to say sorry. Yeah. I I just don't want to do that this year. I want to do which, something new. Which part do you not want to drink? Do the get loaded part or the punch me in the face part? Get loaded. Okay. Yeah, because I'm always hungover. You feel bad for that. Yeah. But not, okay. 
what? Do you want me to apologize for punching you in the face? It's St. Patrick's Day, no, man. No, I don't. It's St. Patrick's Day. I don't accept. I don't. Okay. Well, the way you said it, the way you gave me the puppy eyes. No, I just, you know, I just wondered if you was that was getting old too. That's not punching you. Yeah. In the face when I'm loaded on St. Patrick's Day. Uh huh. That, I I equate I equate that to like Christmas morning. So no, the answer is no. Are you gonna punch me sober this year? No, that's I can't do it sober. Huh. I can't do it sober. All right. I, I love you too much. This time, will you let me know it's coming? No. Damn it. No, that's the fun. All right. That's the fun. That's my gift to myself. That's your fun surprise. That's my gift to myself okay. on St. Patrick's Day. St. Dac- Patrick's Day memories. Let's start there. Let's just start there. Do you have any, or, or can you remember any? Well, when I was a kid, not really. All I can remember is, oh, wear something green, right? Or you get yeah. pinched. Or you get pinched. Right. Pinched when you were a kid. And then as I got older and I got into my 20s, it was, never mind what you're wearing, where are we going to go drink green beer? Yeah. And then in my 30s, it was like, never mind the green beer, where's the cocaine? Wow. Yeah. And it didn't have to be green. And then in my 40s, (laughs) and then in my 40s, it was, I'm just going to take a nap. Yeah. You know what I mean? And now I'm in my 50s and it's like, every day is the same. (laughs) There's no, there's no reason to even... Get out of bed sometimes, is there? Sometimes, no. Yeah. There's not. Yeah. But sometimes there is. Sometimes there is. Today's one of those days. You got that right. St. Patty's Day. St. Patty's Day. So I, I'm the same. I come from the same cloth. Uh, it's always been a reason to get bent. Yeah, you know, I, I, totally honestly speaking. Because we're not celebrating anything else. We're not saying, I mean, uh, yes, St. Patrick drove the snakes out of Ireland. Great. And, and where's we the celebrate, beer? yeah, and where's the beer? Because right. we celebrate, that's a that's a good thing that happened. It's, you know, I, I think coming up and playing music, you'd see all these people go out on, on these holidays. Mm-hmm. And, you know, we would end up calling them amateur nights mm-hmm. because, you know, it's like New Year's Eve. Oh, we're going to go get loaded on this day. Well, if you want to be professional about it, go mm-hmm. get loaded on a regular off day yeah. and leave the holidays to the amateurs because... There's going to be a lot of fights because people don't know how to control themselves. That's right. You know, That's right. they're they not sh- the seasoned drinking veteran. The young ones, the young Turks, the yeah. the twenty somethings, they don't understand all the factors that go into a, a night of drinking. No, to include drinking on an empty stomach, drinking when you're already mad. If you're mad, you're upset, you're frustrated, and then you pour alcohol on it, it's gasoline on a fire. Mm-hmm. If you're happy and in a joyful place well then you become lovey-dovey right and you're hugging your friends you're telling them how much you love them you have confessions of love yeah a lot of sloppy confessions a lot of sloppy confessions of love have you ever confessed anything while you were drunk that you immediately wished you didn't i think everybody has right no everybody. not me that means you've, you've done it more than once i can tell yep i can see right now how you're wiping your brow that, that happened yeah. no it's never happened Okay. You, look, there's nothing wrong if it does happen. It happens to everybody. You don't. Have to be, there's nothing to be ashamed of. It doesn't make you vulnerable. No, don't. Please don't sigh and don't breathe heavy. And you're too close to the microphone again. Just, just give a little space between you and the microphone. You're breathing right into it. No, I'm not. Okay. Claire, you can hear it, right? It's not just me. Yeah, that's coming through really loudly. Yeah, really loud. Let's see. Just trying to, I'm just trying to, you know, think about my past. Well, don't. Always look forward. Okay. Always look forward. All right. Okay. You can't do anything about the past. You, no matter what you think, no matter what you do. <laughs> <laughs> no matter what. No matter what. No you, matter what happens, you can't, you can't change, change the past, anything. bro. Okay. All right. All right. I'm just going to look forward. Always. I'm not going back. <laughs> I'm going totally forward <laughs> and totally straight. See? Better, right? Way better. Way better. Way better. Yeah. It's a fact, though. Um, uh, only look forward. And I'm looking at this St. Patrick's Day saying, I'm not going to get as bent as normal. Mm-hmm. And I'm coming at you feet first when you're not looking. Ooh. Flying sidekick? Again, please don't turn your back on me. I won't. I'll try not to. When you do flying sidekick, do you wear extra heavy uh, long sleeve shirts and pants so when you land, it's less painful? 
honestly, at that point in the evening when I'm going parallel, doesn't matter. I'm not even thinking about that. You might as well be landing on gravel. I get that. In my mind, I'm I'm. It's like the moon. I'm about six percent gravity. Okay. You know. So. Yeah. Um, so I know I'll, I'll land soft and safe. All right. And then when you wake up in the ER. You know, one time I did a karate demonstration um, at a hotel, in a hotel lobby. This is a true story. At a hotel lobby. Um, it wasn't St. Patrick's Day, but I had, I had imbibed. Uh-huh. And I was in a tuxedo. <laughs> And okay. I had on those real slick bottom shoes. I kick ass. And it was uh, it was after the Emmys actually, uh, and it was a marble floor, and I, you know, I was putting on a high performance karate demo, and I did a big kick, and my feet <laughs> flew out from underneath. For me. real? Oh yeah, and I landed on my ass cheek, hard, hard. It sounds like a regret, like we were just talking about. Yeah. <laughs> and I thought the way I landed. I thought I sh- had sh- broken my pelvis. And so I immediately yelled, I broke my pelvis. I hadn't, thank <laughs> God. But I should have. Like, had I, had I been sober, <laughs> Amazing. it might have been broken. But I, I did have a bruise on my butt cheek, and it was sore for a while. And wow. I, think I, I think I displaced my hips. I don't think I've ever been the same. Do you think again. that ever affected your career? Uh, maybe. People are like, yep, that guy's a loose cannon. Yeah. They're like, wow, he's... Uh, because I think you're known, I think your reputation is that he's all-American, <laughs> he's wholesome, he's a Catalina wine mixer, Yeah, and they don't realize your karate demo guy, really. It, it, late at night. Yeah, sometimes. Or early in the morning, depending on how you look at it. Sometimes your tuxedo karate guy. Yeah. If I, if I have the proper amount of rocket fuel, mm-hmm. then yes. What's your go-to drink? Well, I have a new one. What is it? It's shocking. But it's so good. Don't tell me it's got an umbrella in it. No. Okay. Don't. I don't want it to be a white Russian. Nope. Although that I was on those for a while. when the Big Lebowski came out. Yeah. I think I've spent two years on that. Is it an old fashioned? No, but I do love those and I appreciate those. Okay. Old fashioned's a nice drink. <sighs> no, no, no. We're, t- we're we talking rocket fuel. I'm talking whatever whatever floats your boat. Espresso martinis. Oh my God! Now listen. Now listen before you judge. I have a hard time. Listen with this. before you judge. Okay. Espresso, in a, a martini glass, up, chilled, ice cold, even a coffee bean floating in the drink. It drinks like chocolate. It tastes like heaven, and it's it it's it's dance fever when I get done. All I need is two, and I'm karate demo. I'm smashing anything I don't own. I'm doing all the dance moves. Not some, not half, but all the dance moves. You're coming in full John Travolta. Why stop? I can't stop. Won't right. stop. Can't stop, won't stop. Right. Okay? And I didn't get there by myself. Most of the time, I'm real tired. Mm-hmm. Most of the time in the evening, I'm real tired. What time are you getting ready for bed on a normal night? On a normal night, 8 p.m. Okay, and on rocket fuel night? 8 a.m. I like that. You just flipping. You're just flipping. You flip Twelve the script, hours. Flip the script. You don't even need to touch the, the dial. Yeah. So that's probably what's going to happen. By the way, when we were looking at big parades, big big celebrations, Kansas City was top five in the country. Kansas City was top five. Don't even try to deny. I'm not. Don't even try. I know, but you tried to tell me that Savannah was bigger than. I did try to tell you that, and I was wrong. Boston is where. See, that's at. what a mature adult does. I, I admit it. I was you'd wrong. Admit, you'd admit but Savannah's fault. celebration is massive. It's disproportionate. That's weird. Yeah, for the size of their city. But Boston, clearly number one. Uh, I think Chicago has a big one. New York obviously has a big one. Those are all big. Philly's a big one. Philly's and a big one. Cleveland. Yeah, Cleveland. Yeah, I, I think they've got a, a big Irish contingent. Have you spent time in Cleveland? Uh, yeah, I've been there. I love it. It's a great town. Did you like it? I like Cleveland. I like Cleveland. Cleveland, too. you know the song "Cleveland Rocks." Yeah, it does rock. It does rock, and it has the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame there. It does, but I have I I don't know the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and the uh, I don't know that that's questionable to me. What? Hold on, I'm going to say on. something controversial, but it's like it's weird that some bands aren't in it, or you know, you feel like there's a political element to it. Uh, but that's with every organization. That's with everything. I know, but it's like like I still don't have an Oscar. That's that's political, you know. But it's also and that's has a political. To, thing. It also has to do with your lack of talent. Well, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's not 
That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying it's a political thing. That's why I don't. Does Matt Damon have an Oscar? Very talented. Yes. Does Leo have one? Y- yes. Super talented. Does Brad have one? Yes, of course. Very. What do they all have in common? Super talented. So kind of goes without saying, right? I know you're driving at something, but I I don't want to unpack Just, that because I feel like it's hurtful. It's not. I feel like it is. Not. No. 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 You got to. The just, bottom. Well, we're talking about St. Patty's Day. Okay. okay? St. Patty's Day. Um. The biggest parades in America, the nine biggest. Mm-hmm. Kansas City's number four. Number four. See that? Mm-hmm. That's St. Patty's. That's Kansas City. That's how you rep. That's how I rep. Why are you angry? I'm not. I just want. You just I, like, I you felt put, like you got tall. Yeah, because you had a dumb look on your face, like you didn't know what I was saying. Well, you went like this. See that? Hold on. Yeah. See that? See that? Yeah, no, everybody sees it. Well, that's what you did. And yeah. then you're like, we have the biggest, fourth biggest parade in the world, and you got all tall and posted up on me. I was like, dude. We've been to the Super Bowl four out of the last five go. last five years, okay. and we have won three. I'm just saying, you know, that's that's Kansas City. We're the fourth largest St. Paddy's Day parade in that's America. Your, that's now your claim to fame. That's Kansas City. That's how we do. That's how we do. We're the Paris of the Plains. We have the second most amount of fountains next to Rome. Okay. That's what's up. Okay. That's what's up. This is the tone That's I'm talking what's about. Up. This right here? Yeah. You get real defensive. But nobody's well, coming at you. You have a look on your face that is so dumb. And it, it's what it says is, uh, I don't know about Kansas City. It says, uh, really? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Like that? Yeah, that's why, I, you know, I feel like you're I feel like you're taunting. No. You're antagonizing. No. Yeah, you're agitating. Not, not, did. Well, look. What does it say? I see your chamois. And in and Kansas word, City, yes, Kansas City. it's the fourth largest Irish parade. In, I get it. Three Super Bowl championships okay. in the last five years. <sighs> championships. I understand. Not just appearances. No, I get it. Actual trophies. Yeah. So that's what's up. Do you think if you are walking in a mall and Patrick Mahomes walks by you, mm-hmm. and you're like out of context, he would he would go, "Oh, hey, Rob." Yes, I feel like he would. That's because I know him. I know him. Do you? I do. How well? I know him. Can you call him Pat? I don't. I choose not Could to. Could you? Without him punching you in the face? I don't think he's the kind of guy that would punch someone in the face. You don't know that because you haven't tried it. I haven't tried it because I, I feel like it's disrespectful. His name is Patrick Mahomes. I call do him you, Patrick Mahomes. Do you call him St. Patrick Mahomes? I should. Now I will. We should today. Now I will. St. Patrick Mahomes. Do you think largest. St. Patrick's Day was secretly made because For Patrick they, Mahomes? Yeah. Yes, I do. I thought you might. I absolutely do. Well, it's pretty obvious. I remember going to a St. Patrick's Day celebration when I was in the Marines down in Wilmington, North Carolina. And it was pouring down rain. And we stood outside in a beer garden. Oh, God. And it was cold. God, you're, it's, nothing's appealing about that. Nothing, except for the amazing sweet buzz <laughs> of the, of i was the, rocking yeah, of the beer while well, i could see my breath uh you know in the cold rain as i polished off pbr after pbr after uh PBR. you went high class yeah i like that did you throw up that night i did not wow i did not throw up have you ever um drank- I pro- it was probably the hypothermia that saved my life <laughs> freezing your organs internally it was probably the, uh, the pneumonia that uh-huh. i caught the very next day <laughs> <laughs> killed everything else off? Yeah, I think that killed off Okay, uh, anything that might have gotten. Have you ever uh, been overseas to, say, Germany? I have been. I've been to Germany, yes. Were you ever stationed there? I was not stationed there, but I did transit through there on many occasions. Have you stopped and drank at a beer garden in Germany? No, but I've seen pictures, and I desire this to occur in my life. Well, I feel like you appreciating the beer drinking culture that you do uh and you know all that it is you should absolutely go to beer gardens uh, there's a couple different ones so in germany from what i understand the bavarian beer gardens are a little bit different than the other beer gardens. bavarian is down in the southern part of germany yes i believe like so. around munich and yes yeah, where okay. yes and it's in well, the it's more in the towards the alps yeah yeah and 
I uh, don't they do big steins? They do the like giant steins, thirty-two sh- ounce, like it's almost like a big gulp, mm-hmm. but hard glass, cold, cold, and it weighs like you, I, I don't know. You have to use two hands, right? It's heavy. Yeah. And the schnitzel, oh. game over schnitzel, man, dude, it's so good. But the vibe—that's like, the name of a band, possibly. Game over schnitzel. Game over schnitzel. <laughs> <laughs> but the ground is like a lot of times gravel. You know, those mm-hmm. little tiny gravel. Yeah. And it's just it. To sop up the spillage. Probably. Probably to sop up the spillage. Yeah, because you know it's going down. Yeah, and some people probably don't even get up from their picnic tables to take a hot whiz. No. Uh, I didn't. Oh, God. So you've been, obviously. I've, I've been, yeah. I've I've been to a few beer gardens in Germany. I hear Oktoberfest doesn't take place during October. I think they have it at different times of the yeah. year. Yeah, don't they have it in November is like the big Oktoberfest? I, I don't know. Or I mean, September? I guess it's earlier. Hey, Claire, can you dial up when's the when's the Oktoberfest celebrated in Germany, please? Um, She types so fast. I know. It's unbelievable. It's, it's almost scaring me. Hmm. Opening ceremony takes place in uh, September. How about that? September. See, they're playing games with my emotions. They call it Oktoberfest. Dude, you know, you go to these big Oktoberfests, and they and you go in these giant tents. Yeah. Gigantic, and they have the big Oompa Loompa bands yeah, in yeah. the middle. And it's, and are I they, mean. Are they, they're called polka, right? It's a polka band, not Oompa Loompa. Well, the, you know what I'm saying. I know. I it's mean. Oom- Oompa. Oompa. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, no. It, I, I'm not even kidding, man. It's the vibe is fucking crazy. Is it is it a drunk vibe or an electric vibe? It's 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 a electric, oh, drunk electric vibe. It's a drunk electric, but it's not belligerent drunk. Okay. Um, but like all the all the women are, you know, when I say all all most of the women. most of the women are dressed in the traditional lederhosen. Yeah, dude, and the guys are dressed in traditional Oktoberfest wear. Yeah, and it's. It's something to f- behold. It's really cool. If we go do this, yeah, are we wearing leader hosen? That's th- I am. I will too. I feel like you got to get. My name's you got to be part of it. My last name's Leader. Yeah. I if I don't, I'm blowing it. I bet it. I bet at Ellis Island, your name was Leader Hosen, and they they changed it. It might have been. Okay. Or maybe maybe my relatives came over and they were in Leader Hosen, and they're just like Leader. Yeah. They don't have time for the rest. Yeah. We're shorting it for you. Yeah, thanks, guys. Yeah, that's, I have no doubt that's what happened. So we go, we're going to Munich, I guess, because that seems, or Bavaria, wherever, I think we're, we're talking the same thing mm-hmm. here. We go down, we, uh, we're we going to drink our body weight in beer. Okay. We're going to wear a lederhosen. We're going to eat schnitzel. We're going to eat schnitzel, and then karate? Is that still on the- That's always on the thing. On the agenda? We can do karate- before, during, and after. Okay. We can challenge German men to karate tourneys. Okay. Um, just like, let's just challenge them. I don't want to get in any trouble with these guys. Let's just break cinder blocks with our heads. Oh, you just you don't want to go combat? No, no, we'll just do, com- we'll do competition drills. Okay. We'll do com- competition All right, we'll bring, we'll bring wood and we'll bring bricks. Yeah. You know? Okay. I'm going to throw a brick at your head. Are you ready for that? Have you trained? Yeah. Okay. Dude, I got the hardest skull in the biz. Okay, good. I just want you to, I didn't want to catch you off guard. I appreciate it. Um, so we're, we've got, we've got, are we taking the show there? That's my next question. Yeah. We're going to do a live taping of Riggle's Picks in Oktoberfest yes. in September in okay. Germany. We may have to push it because I think the Chiefs are playing in Germany again. They played there last year and they won. They beat Miami. Everybody knows that. But they may be playing there again. <laughs> Every, what? Everybody knows that. What? Yeah. No, I didn't know that. What? Yeah, sorry. Seriously? There are people who don't know oh the Chiefs' God. victory schedule. You live under a rock. You live under a rock. Unbelievable. I, yeah, I didn't know. The Chiefs went all the way to Germany to beat Miami. It was international news. It was? International. When did they do The that? European Union talked about it. Everybody in England talked about it. Putin put it in his speech. When he was talking about the war in Ukraine, the Ukrainian he mentioned the this. Ukrainian soldiers have uh, talked about it. Most of South America is hip to it. What? Yes, this is. There was major international news. I'm major thinking, international news. It seems like you're. 
No, the Kansas City Chiefs beat the Dolphins in Germany. What city? It was a um, Munich. Are you sure? I don't know. <laughs> it sounds right. I can't pronounce all the German names. Munchen. That's the German version. <laughs> don't get down. You try to always stump me with details. There ain't no point. Okay. I, I, what I'm saying is right. Can you look that up, Claire? Look up the how much international coverage it got. We'll it's see. definitely Munich. Definitely Munich. Well, I see you're posting up again on me. No, I'm not posting up. Yeah, on you, you you tilted your head. You went. That's it's definitely Claire, Munich. That's because Claire knew instantly because she knows. She Wait, knows because she heard. Did you look it up, Claire? She didn't have to. Yeah, I did. Oh well, doesn't see? matter. It's international news. Okay, now it doesn't matter. No, it doesn't matter. But it was Munich. My point is, if the Chiefs go back to defend their their, their, their game title, title, yes, uh huh, then I will be there too, and I will be drinking. Beer. If the Chiefs told you to jump off a bridge, would you jump off? Which bridge? The highest bridge in the land. Why? Because they just want you to. Yes. All right. Well, I respect that. <laughs> Can't argue with that. <laughs> I mean. That's cool. You're either a fan or you're not, dude. Yeah, I guess when you phrase it like that, you're a fan. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's cool to see. All right, so we're going. We're going to. We've got. We got a lot to do, bro. Let's I focus know. here. All right. We've got St. Patrick's Day tonight. Let's just start with. Let's start with tonight. Okay. I know you're going to the club. I always go to the club. So I'm going to the club. Uh huh. And then I'm going to the streets. Taking it. I'm going to take it to the streets, and I'm going to reclaim what's mine, mm-hmm. and that is the beer drinking title. Okay. Um. That's what I know about tonight. And then I'm probably going to urinate in your front yard. And I'm going to, uh, when you come out to silence me, that's when I strike from the side. I probably shouldn't tell you all the details of how it's going to go down. It seems like you're blowing it by telling me. I know. I think I just blew it by telling you exactly. You did. Now I know. I got an idea. But I also have a plan B that you don't know about. What is that plan? That plan includes me smearing dog shit all over your front door, ringing your doorbell. Wait a minute. I think I just did it again. Yep, you did. You're a bad divulger. That's not a word. <laughs> Whitey divulger. <laughs> I was going <laughs> to Whitey divulger. Whitey divulger. He's dead. The worst criminal of all time. <laughs> he he just, he screwed everybody. Yeah, he told everybody everything. I know. Stupid. He was, he was, he played it right for a while, yeah. but it caught up. The road ran out. Yeah. So we've got a uh, big St. going, St. Patrick's Day going on tonight. We are going to take it to the streets. I got and, a question. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt you. When people are listening to this podcast, yeah. whether it's in their car or their office yeah. or they're just chilling at home yeah. or they're on a treadmill. Yeah. What do you think when when a listener is listening, mm-hmm. what, what sentence or question can you come up with that would make them go, oh, I got to hear the answer to this? Like any question. Because there's so many podcasts. Let's talk about this for a sec. There's so many podcasts. People try to talk and be entertaining, like we're trying to do, mm-hmm. right? What can we talk about in this moment, off the top of your head, yeah. that will make somebody go, "Whoa, dude! Do you hear those guys talk about that?" Uh, I know I'm putting you on the spot. Best drunken makeout sesh. Ooh. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, now people's heads are reeling. <laughs> I like that, dude. Best drunken makeout sesh. Not including your current partner. Of course. Somebody former. No, we're talking years ago. Yeah, this is not to get you in trouble. Yeah, this is not a busted moment. This is just a recall. This is, so, oh God, I, I, I will tell you this, this story. This story is pretty, pretty gross. <laughs> <laughs> it was the first. This story is pretty gross. Well, I don't know how graphic we want to get on oh, this show. Oh, God. Well, that's how it should be. That's how. Oh, the story's pretty gross. Uh, it's pretty gross. Well, then lay it down, brother. Well, I remember I was in, I was in eleventh grade. Mm. It's over. That instantly makes it gross. Well, I because was nobody 11th. knows what they're doing in eleventh grade. They're just experimenting. Well, I was in eleventh grade, and I had I had had some experiences uh, in you know tenth grade, and it was that was c- cool. Make, Awkward make out sesh. Yeah, those were make out sesh. Yeah. Um, I mean, you know, to be totally honest with you, I was. The first time I ever made out with a chick, I was in fifth grade. Oh, my God. You're a smooth her, operator. Her, na- 
Her name was I don't still want to don't say, say her. Don't say her I name. I won't say her last oh, name. Okay. Her name was Michelle. Okay. And it was we all of us used to ride our bikes up to this church. Uh, oh, and, and we were on a weekend. Sacrilege. Oh, totally. And then it was a group of like twenty kids, twenty five kids, all just children. And you would get sort of dared to go behind the church sure. and make out, make out yeah. right? Yep, yep. And so this girl, Michelle. Dare, truth or dare is how most people got their first kiss. Dude, it's how I got my first bra. What? In fifth grade. What do you mean? But I didn't get it because we got dared to go make out and I had to go. The, the dare was, you need to take her bra off. I was like, okay. And she's like, okay. We go behind, actually made out. Yeah. Tongues, the whole deal. Oh my god! Yeah, I know it was. I know. I remember. That was cool. Yeah. And then I just—I was seventh grade, but you were fifth grade. But we were very advanced. Well, uh, you—you're California. I'm Kansas. It, right. it makes sense. So it, then it came for the bra thing, yeah. and I was like, dude, I don't have the experience, the wherewithal, the know-how, yeah. or the balls to take this girl's bra. Off. Yeah. And I wasn't gonna just take it off. Yeah. So she looks at me, and she was so sweet. Yeah. She. To, and she actually had she actually had boobs. She took her bra off, yeah. out her sleeve, ch -ch -ch, yeah. handed it to me. What? This to, is like sixteen candles. No, no, no. It this is real. This is it, it. It was very much like that. She gave it to me, yeah. and I came out with it in my hand. But I didn't hold it up. No, yeah. it wasn't glory. But I came out, and we were embarrassed. But it it saved me and my little tiny fifth grade reputation. Yeah, uh, and. Everybody, everybody went, and it, the legend, the cast, it was, it was set. Mm -hmm. I was like, I was the kid who got boobs in fifth grade, but I did not. But you did not. I did not. But and I've been living that lie my whole life. You so feel better on now? St. Patrick's yeah. Day, yeah. it's nice to confess. Wow. Yeah, but it so, was a makeout session, fifth grade. So all those kids on your dirt bikes up by the church, uh -huh. f you. Yeah. Yeah. You thought I was cooler than I was. Yeah. Suckers. <laughs> but I guess perception is reality. I don't even know if that. It's a thing. Well, listen, there's a lot of people out there. Matter of fact, why don't you call our hotline, call the Wriggles Picks hotline right now and tell us your makeout sesh. Oh, sir. that's- And don't make it bad. Don't make it something terrible. It's got to be, you know, people, there had to be two willing parties Consenting. involved. Consenting. Yeah. What was your, well, mine wasn't drunk, but that mine was the most awkward. That yeah. was the most awkward one I ever had. Yeah. What was yours? Seventh it, grade. Same thing. It's always, it's always the early days. Yeah. It's the, always the early days. Um- Made out with a girl who was, I guess, technically my first girlfriend. First name? Kim. Ooh. And uh, um, had a big makeout sesh. Okay. Super stoked about it. Right. Really happy. She had a party, so it was out in the backyard. Uh-huh. And came back in the house. <laughs> I'm, dude, I'm watching your wheels go back to memory lane, and it's making me happy. Continue. Because it was... It was, it was <laughs> It was a goddamn travesty. I had a boner. Okay, okay. But I, you know, I didn't realize it how it, what angle it was at. <laughs> <laughs> your your spatial awareness for your boner was non-existent. Non-existent. <laughs> okay. So I walk it back in, thinking I just had a sweet makeout sesh. Time for some pretzels and soda pop, because that's what was on the that was on the fair that night. Uh -huh. you know, so, and. um I think somebody somebody noticed it, <laughs> right. which is, I guess, a good thing. I I had to do some fast, <laughs> fast, awkward adjusting. Yeah, and it was not subtle. It was not pretty. <laughs> you know, I I acted almost. It almost looked like on those stunt movies when they shoot somebody and they go flying backwards out of the room. That's what it looked like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. Wow. So what, are you, what are you gonna do? You know, That's, I'm not gonna. It was it was a special night. It was a special night. Did Kim was Kim present for that part? No, she she bailed. Yeah, <laughs> make out and bail. <laughs> <laughs> That's so the good. The worst. The worst. That's so good. It's the worst. You don't know what you're doing at that age. You don't. Know when what did you? Doing. What age did you? Did you think you knew what you were doing in that department? A week ago. <laughs> <laughs> that long? A week ago. <laughs> and even that, I'm still not a hundo. <laughs> <laughs> not a hundred P. I'm not a hundred P on that. <laughs> okay. But... I'm dying, dude. I'm so hot right now. I'm so <laughs> sweating. <laughs> That's amazing. So you 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 still We've but we but my point is we've got some traveling to do. <laughs> we do. 
<laughs> we've got some traveling to do. We've got we've got to take this thing on the road. We're gonna take to your Germany. boner to Germany. We're gonna take my boner to Germany. We're gonna take it to, I think Ireland. Oh, let's go. Because by the way, just now, not now, I, in the last ten years, mm-hmm. I have embraced the taste of Guinness. Dude, so cold, so good. Uh, you you drank, so smooth. You've tried it in Dublin, right? Yes. So, no, no, not Dublin in Scotland. Okay, I was in Scotland, so I haven't I have not tried it in Ireland officially. Okay, I'm gonna. Be- but I've had ice cold in 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 Edinburgh, and I don't know what it was, but it tasted like it's heaven. different. Yeah, it's different, and I'm I like beer. I don't know that I like beer as much as a lot of people because, you know, I like it on a cold day or yeah. a hot day. I like a cold beer. Yeah, but Guinness. In Dublin, uh-huh. I it's different. It's dude, I because if I drink a beer, I get a little bit. How full. is it different? How is it different? Is it smoother? It's I drank three or four giant pints, pints, yeah, and it, it just went down like water. Yeah, I didn't get full. I didn't wasn't burping. Yes, I, and I was that's what like, I that's what I love about it. I'm not gassy, bloated. Nope. You're not slow. Farty, not farty. Right. You're just like, like you're just like ready to run a marathon. Yeah. But you're hammered. Yeah. It's yeah. smooth. That was it tastes fun. great. It tastes great. It really does. Yeah. It's, it's not bitter. Yeah. It's not heavy. It's just it's like it's just flavorful in the right way, and it goes down. I don't know what the fuck they do out there, wh- how they carbonate it or yeah. whatever, what they do, but by the time it gets over here, it just something changes. Well, I I can't. I don't have enough experience to compare the two. I just know. The stuff I had in Edinburgh was ice cold mm-hmm. and smooth. Yeah. And I really fell in love with it. And that is my go-to even here in the States because it still tastes pretty damn good here. It's great. I just can't drink it like I drank it over there. Yeah. You know, I, if I have a Guinness, it's it's a heavier beer. So if I'm hearing you right, and I think I am, we have to go to Ireland. Yeah. We have to drink our body weight in Guinness and play golf. Yeah, we do. And then from there, we're going to Munich uh-huh. to drink more beer. Uh huh. But that's more of a pilsner or a Weissen hyphen, as they Hessen, say. Hefe Weissen. Hefe Weissen. Yes. And then we have to watch the Chiefs win again. Okay. We've got a busy fall. We have a busy fall. I'm going to call uh, Kayak, uh-huh. the app. Yeah. And I'm going to have them book tickets for us. Why Kayak? There's other ones. Because not a lot of people use kayak, ah, okay. so I feel like I get the attention that I deserve. Oh man, it's always about that, isn't it? You always feel slighted. Well, I'm always looking to get treated right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, ah, gross. That's the grossest. Oh, the way you said it, the look on your I face. I want to get treated. I want to get treated right. Okay, that's even worse. You're making it worse. Um, so this fall, please don't breathe like you're breathing right in. Sorry, the it was part doing? of it was part of the whole thing. We have a busy fall. Yeah, I know. And we have to take this show on the road, and who knows what Gary, if he's even going to be back, and if he is, what condition he'll be in. This is Gary. Ah, Guinness! You got to say something about Guinness? <laughs> Guinness is good. What do you mean good? It's the best. <laughs> My name's Gary. I'm Gary, and Guinness is good. Gary's going to get us in a fight. If we go, if we take him, over if we take th- somebody with this face, we're fighting. Yeah, They're, look at that, how punchable that is. I know. He's going to get us in trouble. Oh, Gary, I love you. So if Gary can't make it, I assume uh, Claire and the rest of the team here, you guys will all be coming to Germany and Ireland for beer and good times. Schnitzies, Claire. Yes, to both. Okay, Thank you. There you go. Thank you very much. See, Claire's got a nice voice. Yeah, very soothing. Very it nice. is very soothing. Yeah, it calms me down because you spin me up, and she calms me down. I just wanted to hear your story about making out with Kim, the running out with a wild boner. <laughs> That's amazing. It was it was awful because some kid saw me when I because I was in the darkness out in the backyard right? and when I emerged into the basement. The lights were on, and it would have been fine if it was at a different angle. It was just at a bad angle. And somebody goes, Jesus, Riggle. And I I looked down and I like that's when I said I, I shot backwards. <sighs> it was awful. It was awful. When you when you were a kid, did they call you Riggle or did they call you Rob? Riggle. Riggle. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Why do you think that happened? Because it's fun to say. Okay. That's what's up. That's what's up? That's what's up. All right. <laughs> I know what they call me at the club. What do they call you at the club? Riggle. Oh, because it's fun. That's because it's fun. I never got called by my last name. I always got called Darren or D or D-Man. 
I like D, and I yeah. like D man. Yeah. I like. I don't like saying Darren. No, Darren's. It's too formal. It, does, it makes me want to punch you in the balls. I think everybody thing does what yeah. make you want to punch me in the balls. You know, uh, I used to get. <laughs> I used to have a manager who called me <laughs> D and then N E S S Denis. Where I was why, like, it why? sounds like penis. Yeah. It bummed me out. Did you ask him? Denis. Why did he say Denis? No, I didn't like ask Like sweetness? Him. Is that what he was saying? Or uh, is that how he was trying? Yeah, to, like, I think so. Like sweetness. Yes. Denis. Yes. Mr. D. Denis. It's the worst nickname. Oh, my God. That's terrible. Yeah. But I, I'm down with D. I'm down with Big Dog. I'm down with Boss. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> down, down with a lot of stuff. No you know? one has ever called you any of those. No one. Yeah. Boss, Big D, Big Dog. King D. No, they call King, me King D. No one's ever call called me, you King D. They call me English D, too. I have heard English D. <laughs> I know you have. <laughs> I know. E.D. They call Wait. You, yeah, no, they call you E.D. They call you E.D. a lot. Not E.D. They call me English D because I'm half English. They call you E.D. No, they don't. Uh, no one's ever called you some of those names, I assure you. King of, King of all... Nobody's ever said cool that. shit. King, no one's ever called king. Mm-hmm. Um. Anyway, if you're if you're drinking, don't drive tonight. That's just don't, should be basic. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't even think about it. Not with the world we live in, with Uber and Lyft. If you get busted for a DUI tonight, yeah. you're a dummy. Yeah. There are so many services. I think if you get busted on a St. Patty's Day with a DUI, you, the officer once you pop positive. Um, you know, you blow into the tube, you pop, kick you in the balls. And that's your punishment? No. That, oh. And then you get it. You know. And then it goes down. Yeah. <clears throat> have you got, have you, do you know anybody who's gotten one recently? Not recently. From what I understand, I don't know recent reason, but they're not cheap. Uh, well, no, they've upped the stakes and, and rightfully so, you know, it's, have you been on the 101 in California on a Friday night? I'm from here. They say about one out of every five drivers is hammered. And, Shut and, it. And I'm not kidding. All you have to do is drive down. I've come home from shows like down doing Largo or doing some improv show, and I've come home around midnight. It's it's like Mario Brothers. It's it's Dude, it's unbelievable. I have seen in Calabasas. I saw a car mm. going the wrong way oh, God. on on one side of the freeway, flying. No. And That's I, a suicide. I mean, think how many people could be hurt. It, it seemed like a, a shitty dare. I hate that. I, it was it was so disturbed. It was actually disturbing. Like, yeah. Like oh, what? Yeah. What is happening right now? Hey, uh, Claire. Yeah. Can you um, look up real quick um, DUI uh, fine in California, please? I just want to see. I what, think they take your license, man. I don't even think it's just a fine. No, I know. I just want to see what the actual fine is. Oh, that's it. Ninety six hours. It can't be. It's got to be more than that. But in, I think you have- 96 hours in county jail, $1,000, $1,000 fine, DUI school, three to five years probation. Look at that. Uh, how much is a DUI ticket? California courts may impose a fine up to 20000 bucks. Oh, That's my what God. I'm looking at. So that right there, if you're drinking tonight yeah. and you don't want to pay $20,000 to just be able to do that and drive yourself home, get an Uber- Call friend, call Riggle. He'll come pick you up. And by the way, first offense. Yeah. Three to five years probation. Dude. Twenty thousand dollar fine. Oh, don't play. You know what's so funny? California can't figure out Jack Squat, and yet they got this one. This is the one thing they do got. We got on lockdown. Yeah. They're less like, yeah, you do this, you're gonna get that. Yeah. That's that's nuts. This is a criminal friendly state, and that is the only thing that is unfriendly. You can rob somebody. Yeah. And not go to jail. Yeah, you could steal a store blind. <laughs> if you drink and drive and still make it home without crashing and you get caught, yeah. you're getting twenty thousand dollar fine. And that, three to five years probation. That's steep. Well, good though. I don't I don't mind that. I don't mind that. So in all reality, after this podcast, are you just gonna go home and take a nap? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I thought so. Yeah, it's uh, and it's so loud. I know. It's so loud. The older I get, yeah. the harder it is to go out. Yeah. I'm gonna read a biography on Abraham Lincoln. That sounds delightful. Delightful. Yeah. And then I'm going to have a nice, wholesome, nourishing cup of soup. With veggies in it? I'm sure. Stroni? Tender, tender veggies. God. You know, so they don't hurt my teeth. <laughs> That's, <cool. laughs> That's a baller move, dude. Yeah. I'm with it. I'm still on the scene, D-Man. 
All right. Okay. Just ask anybody at the club. All right. Well, you know what? I'm going to be at the club. No, I have a question for you about age. Yeah. When are you going to go? When do you think you're going to have to go get hearing aids? <laughs> when do you think you're going to go have to get teeth? Because I know, because I'm not saying I know it's not soon, yeah. but it's gonna go down. I, the, my teeth will stay with me. I'll, my teeth are lifers. No, nope, they're lifers. They're lifers. Now, the eyes and the ears are gone. They're gone. What do you? What about hearing aids? Have you contemplated it yet? Not yet. No, no, no. You haven't I'm, even thought? No, no. I'm not there yet. I've got 20 more years easy before I gotta pop those in. I easy. am gonna say. But you're a rock and roller, man. You're I, a musician. Your ears, of course, they're gonna be you battered. You think you got 20 years? I got easy 20 on the hearing aids. I got no time. I'm behind the curve <laughs> on the glasses. Right. Thank God for uh, Black Flag. Black Flies. Black Fly. Thank God for Black Flies. Black Flies. They're doing it right. Yep. Styling, profiling, looking good. Yep. So these will get me through. Yeah. Right now. These are a very, very cheap alternative to surgery. I just know that one of my favorite restaurants, Mastro's, is a very dark restaurant. Uh-huh. I go in there. I can't hear shit. I can't see shit. I ain't shit. So I sit there, and I have to put on my phone light. Uh-huh. Put turn on, on your phone light. Let, Let it shine so you can read the menu. menu. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh... So I have to put on my phone light. Ah, you're that guy. I put on the glasses, and while I'm looking, right, at the menu, as I hold it far away from me so I can get a good look at it, because I can't see that well, mm -hmm. people at the table are talking, and I don't, I can't understand them, because it's, it's a murmur, so I have to bark at the top of my lungs, huh? What are you saying? Yeah. What? And, that, and that's when I realized I'm 251 years old. Dude. I uh, it gets embarrassing saying what yeah. it gets embarrassing going, what huh what huh and I've contemplated hearing aids I'm on the fence so next time you see me I may have them I hope you do I hope you do what well listen everybody have a safe St. Patrick's Day God bless you wear your green if you don't have it on uh, you're gonna get slapped in the mouth you get a twenty thousand uh, dollar fine and a twenty thousand dollar fine so go get some green on and enjoy your St. Patrick's Day. Be safe. And we'll see you next time on Riggle's Picks. I'm Rob Riggle. I'm Darren Leader. Thank you. <laughs>